Let's continue with the L bracket. The L bracket requires two holes, which you can use to mount to the frame of the robot. Select the hole wizard in the features tab to create holes for standard screws. On the left side of the screen, in the hole type section, select hole. Make sure you have ISO for standard and screw clearances for type. Then set the size to M6 and the end condition to through all. To identify the locations of the two holes, go to the positions tab and select the top surface of the bracket. Now click into approximate locations as shown and click the green check mark. Notice that under this feature you have two sketches. The second one is the profile of the hole, which is defined by the options you selected. The first one comes as underdefined and represents the locations of the two holes, which is determined by their center points. Right click on it and select the first icon to edit it. Select the top view from the heads up toolbar and click on smart dimension to define the two locations. Click on the first point and on the left edge, then click below. Enter 12.7 mm and press Enter. Now click the point and the bottom edge and click to the left. Type 12.7 mm and press Enter again. Hold Ctrl down and select the two points to add a horizontal relation. Then set the distance between the two points to 25.4 mm. It is now fully defined. Switch to isometric view. The bracket is almost complete. Now add a hole which will hold load and trim the corners of the bracket. Right click on the front face of the bracket and click the sketch icon to start the sketch. Go to front view for a better perspective. Select circle and click on the face. Drag the cursor and click again to create the circle. We want the circle to touch the top edge of the bracket, so we're going to add a relation. Hold the control key down and select the circle and the top edge, then select tangent from the available options. Place another relation by holding the control key down and selecting the center of the circle and the origin. Make them vertical. Create a second circle inside the first one. Now create two lines that connect the corner of the base of the L bracket to the outer edge of the circle. For easier selection, make tangent lines visible. Use the line tool from the sketch tab, click the left corner of the L bracket and move the cursor towards the circle. Take note that SOLIDWORKS indicates three guidelines. If you click again while these lines are visible, SOLIDWORKS creates a tangent line but it does not always add the tangent relation. Create another line on the right side. Use Smart Dimension to set the diameter of the inner circle to 12.7 mm and that of the outer circle to 25.4 mm. The sketch is still underdefined. By dragging it you can find the problem. The tangent relation is missing so we will add it. Hold the control key down Select the line and the circle and click Tangent. In order to remove material, go to the Features tab and select Extrude Cut. Under Direction 1, select Through All. Because your sketch has multiple contours, you have to select the ones you want to use for this particular feature. Select them and click OK. The bracket is now ready. In this lesson, we learn how to use relations, extrudes and the hole wizard.